Theorem 6.1 Basic Proportionality Theorem BPT or Thurs Theorem The theorem you see the statement If a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct point then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio See the diagram If a line is drawn if a line is drawn parallel to the other side parallel to one side Okay. if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting intersect the other two side intersect the other two side in distinct point that is D and E we are making and that means the other two sides are divided in the same ratio that means if you divide if it's two points is distinct points if we divide it these two ratios are equal so AD by DB and AE by EC ratios are equal so first one is given what's given here triangle ABC is given and D is parallel to BC so we'll write triangle ABC where D parallel to BC and already said we have to prove the ratios are equal so AD by DB AD by DB equal to AE by EC the ratios are equal we are going to prove so now we need to do a construction see the construction construction join BE so join BE and CD so we are joining BE and CD and drawn DM perpendicular to AC dm perpendicular to ac and en perpendicular to ab so we are joining here dm perpendicular to ac and en perpendicular to ab okay so now the proof we'll start the proof now now see the tan for the diagram now first we'll take triangle ade we'll just take first triangle ade okay this one ade so here half into area of triangle formula half base into height so here half into here basis in triangle ade basis ad and height is en so ad into en so ad into en and even even this is also same thing you do uh, equal to half into basis ad we are taking the same triangle okay so now when you take this this triangle we took that basis ad and the height is this one again the same triangle ade but when we take this side we are taking the other side so basis ae understood ade same triangle here means base is this one the height is this one and the same one if you take this side is base ae is base means this is the height so ae into we'll take dm and the second one we'll take second one this side dbe triangle db if we take this triangle basis db so basis half into basis db or bd height is this triangle this is we are because we draw e and is perpendicular to ab the whole portion so we can take e and again e and is only the height same height and other side if we come to this side triangle before we took dbe now we'll take dec this side so in here base is ec and the height will be dm same height will come because we took perpendicular to ac only so we'll write here half we'll write half ec into dm same height will do both dm dm and e e and e n okay and this is the first one this is the first one and this is second one and this is a third one and this is a fourth one so after that one two three four we mentioned again divide one and two so we are dividing one and two so area of triangle ad by area of bd equal to half ad into en by a half bd into en we'll write first and the second one dividing three and four so area of ad by area of dec half ae into dm this is the first one and DEC half EC into DM that was the same thing we we'll just write it now again area of ADE by BDE so here half of cancel AD A, e and e and cancel so we'll get only AD by AD by BD and this side half will cancel DM will cancel so we'll get AE by EC okay so now again so now to that this triangle DBE and triangle DEC we took these two triangle you see these two triangle common basis D and D is parallel to BC so triangle BD and triangle DEC are on the same base DE same base DE 
and between the same parallel line BC and D BC and D or parallel line so same base and parallel means the area will be equal to this triangle so tri area of triangle BD and area of triangle TC will be equal now we can see the first one ADE by BD equal to AD by BD so we'll write this one again here so we can take area of triangle ADE by area of triangle BD BD is a before one we took as in I'm making as first one and before one is the second one so ADE by ADE by BD equal to AD by BD I'm writing again ADE by instead of BDE instead of BD we can write DEC so same will write so that is make it as 3 now you see the third one ADE by DEC and see the second one ADE by DEC so ADE by DEC and here also ADE by DEC both are equal that means we can say ADE by BD equal to AE by EC so these two are equal hence proved essentially